Alright, hello everyone, my name is Enzo and welcome back to European Results 4. We are playing the Rights of Man expansion as Burgundy. I wanted to say Genoa there for a bit, but no, this is the Burgundy campaign. You're right in the right place. Um, except if you were for the, looking for the Genoa campaign, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's jump back into the game here. In the last episode, um, the Ottomans were attacked. Actually, the Ottomans attacked Skio. Um, they wanted to take that over from Genoa. Um, and Austria jumped in in defense and also France called a crusade against the Ottomans and that is why there's so many many troops here uh, in the Ottoman area uh, including ourselves we have joined uh, Austria in defending uh, their allies of Genoa um, and yeah so doing pretty well but now I think we did lose some battles so we've got some troops fleeing here such as Genoa and Austria I believe no these guys are actually coming towards the battles uh, so that's pretty good uh, but we do have to pay attention here because these stacks are pretty powerful let's take a look at the amount of troops that the Ottomans still have I think this is actually all they have uh, because this is 12k and this is uh, this is 19k uh, should be yeah I think that should be all um, and actually that might make sense because the Ottoman Empire is not that big at the moment well it is it's, it's quite big but it's um acceptable I suppose so this is all they have we've got quite some troops here so I think we should be reasonably fine fine and I don't really want to give up this siege um, uh, with Brabant at my side I don't think my allies will be joining in We've got, well, actually, we've got Flanders just moving around a bit, not really doing anything. I think they have obtained a bunch of military axes. Yes. I guess they are trying <laughs> to get there. Uh, I just hope that they aren't wasting a lot of points there by doing that. Um, I think Flanders is the only one still not here because we've got Holland here. Uh, we've got Brabant, so I think we're fine. Okay, I guess we'll just let it run for a bit. You can actually quit building your spy network there. Uh, by the way, thank you guys for your comments on the previous videos. I have read them, so thank you very much. And I will definitely keep them in mind for the coming episodes. And, and actually all of my episodes, hopefully. Uh, we're still annexing mm, uh, Nevers as well. Nearly there, doing fine. Okay, so let's let it tick on for a bit. Uh, okay, France is creating some claims. Where are you going? You're going here. Uh, because I... <clears throat> I want this siege to finish, but I know there's another stack here, so it would be quite dangerous, actually. You are going to... there. You are following. So there's not much we can do. Uh, this is the entire stack, though, at the moment. Uh, a great advisor has died. The um, I think that was the relations over time dude. So that is a bit of a shame. Um, we only have level 2 dudes right now to pick from. Well, we aren't going to do that. It's going to be too expensive. Okay, so the Ottomans are really trying to make a last stand here. It's going to be dangerous. Just shuffling their troops around right now, which is fine. Uh, this siege is going pretty well. Um, I'm not quite sure what we will get out of this. Currently we are participation score 14%, so we might at least get some prestige and money from this. Uh, but I'm sort of inclined to not get ourselves involved too much. So if things get a bit too difficult, then we will be quickly leaving. I did see those uh, swords, cross swords there, so... I'm not sure what they are doing. <laughs> okay, they now are actually attacking this. This is a 14k stack. Well, I think we'll try and defend them. We'll probably wait until they are locked in. 6th of May, so that should be pretty soon. Let's slow it down a bit. Should be any moment now. They will be locked in, right? At some point. Will we have anyone else able to defend us? 
I'm not sure. Will this be a good fight to pick? We will be at roughly 45. They will actually be around 40. So we should be able to take it. Especially as we are on the defense. And I'm guessing Austria might actually want to jump in. What we will do though is create a new unit. No, actually not split in half. I want to create a new unit and leave you behind. Just in case. Um... Uh, no friendlies can attach. Just in case um, we come back to finish this siege at some point. So in that case, we will get you. The attacker gets a minus one penalty. This is nice due to the wood strain. That's a tooltip that did not um, exist before. Still not a lock. Yeah, now a lock. Okay, go. I think this will be a good fight to pick. We've got all the Austrians coming in as well. We have a leader, but ours isn't as uh, powerful as we would like it to be. Perhaps Austria comes in with a new general. Uh, you are moving to Sovia as well. You are not moving away in time. No, okay, this is going to be it, guys. Exciting fight. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how much more troops do we have here? We can't tell just yet. Because these guys are still moving. Let's speed it up to level 2. Quickly now, come on. How much longer? Yeah, there we are. Okay, what's this? Still 9k, actually. But I think this should be enough to win this fight. Am I crashing here? Ah, took a little while for this to, uh, to work. Inspirational leader. Recover army morale speed. Okay, well, that's not really helpful for them at this moment. Okay. Oh, they run away. They actually um, fled from the battle. I think that's something new as well in this. Uh, oh, more, uh, it's, okay, so they run away, the, the large stack, and therefore the morale of the other part of the army actually dropped very, very quickly um, to the point where they, I, I think, might even be... No, not stack wide, but it was close. Uh, it's a shame, though, that they run away. It's, it's a good thing, but it is a shame for us. Hmm, where are you going though? You will probably, I guess, go through here and then we can't really reach you. So what I'll do is... No, we still can't follow you. It's so annoying. I guess we'll get back here and see what we can do. This is an interesting war. It's not really useful, but uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. There's not much in it for us. That's, I guess, the uh, thing I want to say. Yeah, you guys are crossing here, so we can't follow you there. Right? No, we can't, okay. No, no way for us to um, stomp on anyone here. Okay. That's fair enough. Losing a lot of manpower, but I like the fact that we have quite some in the bank. So I'm not too... Uh, not too scared about that. Still minus 14. Because of the war goal, yeah. Uh, there's not much we can do about that at the moment. Because we can't cross here. This siege, though, it's a, it's a very painful one. It's been going on for a long, long time. Not much happening, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, let's speed it up again. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ah, still Corfu is here as well. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, okay, Siege is progressing now. Uh, there will be a fight, though. Um, I'm hoping that these guys will be able to jump in, so that we don't have to. What I could do is actually split you in half and just throw some troops that way. 1st of October... 23rd of September. Let's do that. Let's see if anyone else jumps in. Yeah. And you probably as well, I'm guessing. Keep a close eye on this. Yeah, okay, so we've got Savoy jumping in as well. And here's our... This is pretty good. No need for us to risk the rest of our troops, I think. Yeah, they fled again, and we won that battle. Okay, so move back. Uh, walls have been breached, so I think this siege would be um, going a lot more quickly right now. 
Brabant doing its bit there. Uh, Holland, rather. Very nice. You know, I guess what the thing is, though, even if we can't cross here, if the Ottomans want to cross back in, they will have to cross the river. Um, so if, as long as we have these two provinces sieged up, or at least have some troops in there, they will always have a crossing penalty, and that's, I mean, that's pretty good. We've sort of um, chased them out of this part of the country. That will um, immensely help us. Okay, so let's speed it up. Of course, this 6k stack won't do much good against a uh, 30k stack moving in. Let's take a look at the amount of uh, manpower that the Ottomans still have. It's 2k. So they're nearly depleted. Their manpower is nearly depleted, so that's good. Uh, military access from Alsace. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't think there's much... Uh, we can do here in terms of getting territory, but fine. Integrating Nevers. Very nice. Nevers is part of our nation now. Um, I'm not sure if that did anything bad to us. No. In terms of aggressive expansion, France is minus 9. Lorraine still worst off. Minus 32. I'm guessing that's the worst. Yeah, must be. We are now, by the way, at worst uh, score 11%. Very good. And we can make the uh, the Austrian very, Austrians very happy with us if we just uh, stick it out until the end. Okay, so that's going to be quite a big fight here, but I think Austria should be able to join in, right? Uh, you are the leaderless stack. You will... You can't join in, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, in that case, this is going to be a bit of a problem. No, okay, Austria will jump in. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, actually, I say that. A lot of man being lost there. Yes, we won. Okay. Woo! That was a close fight, though. Very, very close, indeed. And another fight coming in. Can we still not join it? Why not? Lamb over and blocked by hostile fort. How is this fort hostile, though? We have actually... It's under our op occupation. So weird. Some strange stuff going on, as always. Let's see if we can still make it in time. Wasn't necessary one anyway. Okay, so these guys are actually uh, fleeing this way now. I guess we'll go back to the siege. But Holland is doing a, a lot of work for us. Uh, is that actually working towards us? Yeah, it's 0%, so it's, it must be added towards our participation score. 25%, very nice. Flanders has embraced Renaissance, speeding up their techno technological development. Okay. So Renaissance actually probably, whoops, is getting closer now to us as well. I'm not sure what my PC is doing at the moment. It's uh, lagging. Hope you guys can, can, st can still hear me, but I think it should be fine. Let's take a look at the institutions here. So, yeah, so it's spreading now, right over here. Uh, this is very good. So it will be it will be uh, a big chance that it will spread to us quite soon now, and then we can move over to the business of uh, embracing it. We want to finish the siege and then probably try and get out of here. It's been fun. Uh, still a shame that Skio is a problem here. How many ships do the Ottomans have? So take a look at that and see if we can do anything about that. They have 18 galleys. No, we won't be able to do anything about that. So we'll just patiently wait. Ah, oh, look at this. The Ottomans wanted to join in here, and they are, but all of a sudden there's many troops converging on this very battle, and they will be stomped into the ground, taken alone. And actually, I think we will win this battle as well. We are part of this, right? Yes, we won that. This is very good, very nice. Uh, they've actually left this spot now. Don't like that fact, but eh. Duke Charles I is now well advised. Possible advisors plus one. Thank you. That's very good. Does that mean... Well, we don't have any money to do anything with, so... Okay, so they have taken over this siege, but I think Austria will jump in. Holland, please join in as well. Do it. Can we switch there? Jeez, these taps. They just take a long while to actually 
open. Let's actually set focus to, uh, well, no focus for now. And perhaps you will move? Yes, you are. Okay, so we got that siege, finally. Because we, c no, we can't move here. What's this? Venice, actually. Negro Ponte. Very good. Still, we can't go to Skio, so it will still remain a problem. I think I've sort of had enough and I want to go home. Um, or at least move out of attrition range. We will probably be attrition if we move here. Yes, but oh, let's uh, let's finish this. It's 100%. Coast has been raided. Okay. We will be losing this now. We've got that. Let's move over there. And okay, we we will help out for just a sec. Okay, we will actually lose this. That's fine. Let's help Brabant out here. Come on, that. These battles are doing uh, a lot for our war scores, so that's very good. We will help out with this siege as well. The Ottomans just keep chumming out troops, though. National Epic. Yes, I love a good story, probably. Lose 10 administrative power and lose 15 ducats for Yuri Prestige plus 1 for 20 years. Yes, please. That's very, very nice, I think. Uh, I don't like that we are losing this, but it's going to take a long while until they have actually finished this. Ukshup is uh, losing all the time. Won that siege. There will be a fight there. Let's join in. Just for the sake of it. So that this fight will be won even more quickly. Okay, can we please just move to Skio somehow? No, they won't be as dumb to move away these, uh, these ships. Okay, I guess we'll just uh, move out. Um, as I said, I've sort of had enough of this war. And I think our manpower recovery... Uh, should start. We actually had five troops here. Oops. How many men do we have? We are 25? How did that happen? Do we have any mercenaries at all? No, right? No. Let's take a look at our finances. Fort maintenance. Minus 12. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, fort maintenance 7. We don't have any uh, army maintenance. No mercenaries. Okay. Why are we over a force limit? How did that happen? Oh, nevers! Of course! Derp! So, thank you, but bye. Okay, that helped. Uh, we will first get out of there, and then we'll uh, reduce our army maintenance, I'm guessing. And we'll just leave our um, vassals here, our personal union juniors, to do some more work here. I think it's now come down to carpet seizing this, which is very nice. Probably because we were able to actually finish this siege here. Uh, production research flawed, they must be right or ignore them. I don't want to lose prestige, so let's lose the admin tech, unfortunately. And everything my junior partners are doing is just going straight into our 28%, so everything will be going to us. I really like the fact that we have those partners. It's very good. Okay. You are actually still at home. I don't think that's particularly necessary. I'm not convinced that the Ottomans will have any ships here. So, although we do have ports blockaded, that's just ports that we, um, of provinces that we sieged, so that's fine. Okay, our troops are coming back home. We will actually lower the army maintenance, as we should have done uh, much sooner as well in one of the previous episodes. Okay, so we have sort of um, withdrawn from the, uh, from the war here. Our... Allies are still working, still doing their bit. We've lost the effects of the Crusade, okay. So our uh, manpower it will be dropping back to 20k max. Coast has been raided, yeah. There you go, 20k max manpower. Cardinal's policies upset nobles. The minister is showing us the path to the future. National unrest plus one. Uh, that's quite bad. For 10 years, monthly autonomy chains minus 005. Uh, for Burgundy, 20 noble regiments in Barois. He has overstepped his authority and should be dismissed. Cardinal and administration will be removed from Burgundy. Uh, Bourgogne will no longer be the seat of a cardinal. I don't know. Is that? I think that's the papacy thingy, right? Uh, I'm really not too well versed in this. 
We've got a car two cardinals. We've got some influence. Which I suppose is good. I would like to be the controller, but I really don't think it's necessary. Let's um, let's just go with that. Fine. Okay. So now this will become a matter of reinforcing and just being able to get our money back up in preparation for actually uh, embracing the Renaissance. I think that will be very important. And I don't like the fact that we are losing so much money, even though our army maintenance is so low. Uh, so what what is up with that? We've got um, eight fortresses. I think that is a, a big problem. So let's see what we can do about that. Because I think we have six forts active. They will automatically raise maintenance during war. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, actually correct. Uh, yeah. Because that is the uh, the main thing here. Uh, I guess we can mothball them. There's not really any threat of the Ottomans doing anything, so let's mothball them. And that should hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we are actually making money again. I'm, I'm really sort of... Um, yeah, I'm really willing to take a slight risk here of actually mothballing our forts uh, just to be able to get ourselves in a good position for the Renaissance. And by the way, uh, Lorraine... How long is that truce still happening? Two years. And then you are done. Would you like to become our vassal? I don't think it will happen, as we have noticed before. Um, do we have a claim? Not yet, I think. I forgot, though. No claim, no claim. If I'm not mistaken. So let's build a spy network and prepare for that. As we have with Liege. Liege, I think you were allied to Cologne. Yes, you are. Uh, but that won't be a problem. I think we are in a good position to do some more conquering in a bit of time. Um, ideally, we would probably want to focus on Lorraine first. Just because they have a very high aggressive expansion. Minus 29. 29 and it doesn't really matter if we take take them over. If we fully annex them, it doesn't really matter that that is high up there. Um, and the other countries are actually quite low. It, it went pretty well. It dropped down pretty quickly. So I think we will focus on Lorraine first. So let's move there. Just in preparation for that. It's going to take a long time until we can actually attack them. But that's fine. Tyrannical nobles turn a blind eye, lose one base tax in Charleroi. Uh, nobility of state gains 15 loyalty. That would be pretty good. And there's one base tax. It's pretty bad. No, let's, we can't lose another 15 loyalty, I think. That would be pretty bad. We've got provincial unrest, Barwas um, separatists. Got some claims. We have loans. Can we repay any loan? No. Not yet. Doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we don't um, make them any longer, those loans. Renew them is what I wanted to say. Okay, so the war is still ongoing here. This is, I think this is, was a good choice. We will just allow other countries to do some work for us, or at least in the war. Uh, Ottoman conquest of Skio. White peace? Oh, between... Um, Okay, between the Palatine, that's fine. So the Palatine has been separate pieced out, okay. Um, and in the meantime, we are sort of building up our manpower and making ourselves prepared for any sort of war of our own choosing. So I think that's um, probably a, the, the correct choice here. So when can we fabricate a claim on you? It's going to take us to 20 spy network size. Uh, still at 10.5 right now, so it's going to take some more time. That's fine. Just Flanders moving around there. I think they are actually going home right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Athens there. Okay, there's the Ottomans again with their big stack. They just keep on coming. It's amazing, actually. Because they have been defeated time and time again. And actually, at this moment, it might be sort of difficult for the troops that are still left to uh, be able to hold off the Ottomans. But I think they should be fine. They might lose that battle, though. 
white piece between the uh, between Siena and the Ottomans as well. Hungary is accepted offer to higher condottieris. We've got Flanders there moving back in, as is Brabant and Holland as well. That's very good. Just keep it going, uh, you guys. You're doing very well. Bringing you 25% right now. Austria is at 37%, but of course it was sort of what's well, Genoa, Gen uh, Genoese war. Um, but the Austrians are their main ally, I suppose. Just one more tick, and then we can get a claim on the rain. A claim on the rain. And we will do that. I'm not sure which one to pick. Mm, let's go with Lotharinge. That's fine. Actually, we no, we we still have the truce, but it's gonna be ah, it's uh, almost uh, gone half a year. Ottoman conquest of Skio. Let's see, major victory. A uh, lot of defenders. Uh, casualties: two hundred and twenty thousand troops are dead. And actually, the honor. This is sort of weird. Genoese casualties. This doesn't. This no. Uh, zero. That's not really how it worked. Ottomans, um, let's see. My duke, the Ottomans accept a peace on the following terms. The Ottomans will cede Vidin to Hungary. Uh, let's see. Ottomans will cede Balibarara to Genoa. I can't... Is that this? I think so. And Skopje, probably. I think the name has changed, has it? I don't know. Uh, Ottomans will give, of course, Ushkup to Serbia. Yeah, I think that name changed because now it's Skopje. Yeah. Um, Ottomans will give, of course, Ibasan to Venice. Ottomans will be forced to give Genoa 10% of the income for war operations. This will last for 10 years. Ottomans will pay 195 ducats to Genoa and his allies. Burgundy will get 51 of this amount. Nice. We'll start in 0.10 inflation from Burgundy. Uh, okay, as a defender general, suffers a suspension. As a total of 11.5 prestige, we gain 3 prestige because of that. We don't get any power projection. Okay, so that was not really useful, I suppose, for the amount of men that we used. Uh, but I guess Austria will like us because we honored the alliance. Um, yeah, that's at least good, right? That's something that to be happy about. I think we will improve our relations again. That's good. Uh, state demands control of province. Oh, nobility wants... Oh, I missed that. The nobility wants stuff. I, I think I want to take a look at where the development map is because that will allow us to have a better look at where we... No, this is not the right... How does this work then? Development. I think this this is what I'm looking for because I'm looking for something with nobility and therefore I wanted to have uh, a high military uh, Development so um, I don't know maybe here Charlois Nobility already has that province This can't be held by a an estate um, Barrois perhaps yeah, that's fine. Five, five, five. Uh, because I learned that I have to actually pay attention to that. Um, this could be better, but it's fine, I think. Let's repay a loan, shall we? Because we can. Um, army maintenance is very low. Actually, just let's drop it down a bit further. Just slightly above zero. And that's going to be fine. And I think we are able to probably uh, declare war upon... Lorraine in the next episode Right, so for now we will put in a quick cut and when we come back We'll see if we can actually get to Lorraine and see if we can get them and fully annex them and just Generally strengthen ourselves in a in, pre in preparation for a future war with France And then we'll see you and that's my cat waking up perfect timing, right? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again in the next one until then. Bye. Bye